Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to put up an Adobe Air Flex 3 encryption system. Now, one of the weak points of Adobe Air and Flex is that there is no encryption, and as a result, data can be grabbed from the internet, from the airways there, in a sense. So we need to have an encryption system, and we're going to use the AES, Advanced Encryption System. Of course, you can use others as well, and this particular system is government approved, and will give you secret and top secret encryption. Now all the code that I'm going to create today is available on Google Code. Let's go there right now. So just go to my Flex3 Cookbook 1 uh, code.google.com forward slash p forward slash Flex3 Cookbook 1 forward slash download forward slash list and go to encryption base code dot zip and go ahead and download that and that will be all the code that we're going to use here today. Just unzip it and pack it right into Flex and it'll run and you can test the encryption system. Let's go ahead and take a look at that system right now. I have the code here in my Flex and I'm going to go ahead and run it and we'll take a look at how it works. So we're running the encryption uh, software right now, the AES software, and you can actually basically generate a 64-bit uh, key or a 192-bit key or basically a 128-bit key which is typically used for secret encryption or a 256-bit key which is used for top secret encryption. Let's go with the secret encryption uh, bit and I'm going to type in Mike is here and just hit the encrypt button and it's encrypted it. That's a race mic is here and just hit the decrypt button and I've decrypted it. In addition you can use your own key so let's wipe those two uh, out here and wipe out the key and make up my own key. For example I may be teaching English 101. Use that as an encryption key and say Mike is taking English and encrypt that and there's your encryption right there. So a uh, great tool. Now I've actually uh, basically did a lot of work here to get at this point because this is what I call base code. We're going to be using this code for other projects and I have a key, I have the uh, text to be encrypted and I have the encryption and an encrypt and decrypt. All the basic things I need or functions I need within the code to enable me to use this for more advanced applications. That's what we're going to do but first we have to explain this base code so let's get to it. Now you're going to be asking me well where in the heck do I find this code and how do I uh, manipulate it to this format. Let me first say this is a derivative work and the license is in the SRC folder of the Flex project. So let's take a look at the Flex project. So if you download that you'll see the license here and you're going to want to go ahead and read that and make sure you distribute it based upon those license requirements. Okay we're back in our Word document and we're looking at the AES Advanced Encryption Standard and if you want to learn more about that you can come down here to its Wikipedia page. Now AES is a symmetric encryption system which means there's one key to encode and decrypt and uh, as opposed to an asymmetric system which where there's two keys like a public key to encode and a private key or secret key to uh, decrypt. So let's take a look at the uh, Wikipedia page which discusses the AES which is the advanced encryption standard and you go through here and you can actually see how it was created and how it works so I'm just going to introduce you to this page. It is a national standard uh, for encrypting uh, secret and top secret information and it has been approved by the US government so this is a great piece of software. Now it may be a little slower than for example li something like Blowfish and we may end up going to Blowfish as we proceed in the, in, in the future but at least this gives you the basis on how to work with code like this and if you take a look at our source code we not only provide the AES but have tons of other encryption systems you can just go through that. Where do you get those encryption systems from? Well let's take a look at that right now. You want to go to AS3 Crypto that's crypto.hurlant.com and there you can download the source code. Isn't that fantastic? So we're on the AS3 crypto site right here and they have a demo. So click on that demo. And what's so cool here, this is a Flex demo. It's running all the encryption code in Flex, which is our native language here. Uh, we're not going to use the public key because that is um, an asymmetric encryption. We're going to use secret. I'm going to choose AES and I'm going to choose uh, the mode to be ECB. Now, I'm actually seeing all there's a lot of uh, buttons here and uh, extra drop down menus that I don't need. So I'm going to go and recode this and get rid of all this excess baggage so I can use this as base code for further work. But let's see how it works. Let's come along here and we can uh, generate a 64 bit uh, key and we can have it encrypt text and we want to output hex. Now, other people might use text or uh, some other format. I just like hex because it's more understandable to me. I can type in Mike is here, for example, and go ahead and hit encrypt and it works just like the system that I wrote with all the excess stuff 
That system I work is now ready to be taken into other systems as well. So that's where you get it from. Now, if you want this code, just right-click on the screen, go View Source. And there's a source code. Let's just download that zip. So I want you to download that to your desktop and unzip it. And when you do, you should have a folder called Crypto. And here's our crypto folder, and we're going to just basically grab everything here, create a flex project, and dump this right into it. Now, the main file, the one we're interested in running, is crypto demo. So let's go ahead and create a flex project called crypto demo, dump all this in it, and then run the project. So open up Adobe Flex. Let's right click on the screen, get a new project, flex project, and type in crypto demo. And this is a web project, and just hit finish. And there's our crypto demo file right here. Just come along to the SRC folder, and let's go ahead and paste all that code right now. So go ahead and paste, and yes to all. And now that all that code has been uh, pasted in, we're going to click on crypto demo. Take a look at the source code right here. And what the encryption demo is doing is bringing the number of the software UIs. Let's go ahead and run it. And when it runs, you see we get the exact same thing as we had on the web. And it works just the same way. So we don't need to demo that again. But it's the same code. So, And you have all these different encryption systems that you can use. And that's just really great. And we're going to show you now next time on how to hack into this and make this work for you. So we're back in our Word document. And there's two tasks in this particular project. One, we need to download the Flex demo, which we've done. And we've got it running. In a second, we've got to hack this into a usable form, and we're going to do that in our next video. So see you then.